Infinite Canvas apps are the new hotness in productivity and collaboration software. We have Miro, Mural, ClickUp has one, as well as Microsoft Whiteboard. Apple has the Freeform app that's coming out at some point. And now Obsidian has an infinite Freeform Canvas baked right into your vault. Today, we're going to take a look at the Canvas plugin that's available for insiders, what you can do with it, and what I hope it might become. But first, a word from this video's sponsor, Exter. I've always been a front pocket wallet type of a person. I mean, this is my old wallet here. It's pretty thin, it's made of leather, it's got a nice metallic money clip on the back of it, but it gets pretty bulky once I get it filled up with cards and stuff, and there's really only so much cash that I can put in it. Exter has come up with a unique and slim way to approach the front pocket carry wallet. Now these wallets, they're not made out of canvas. There are a lot of different materials that you can choose from in an extra wallet. My favorite is carbon fiber, but you can also get a card holder in aluminum. They have leather options as well, including vegan leather, if that's something that's important to you. Now, Extra has some amazing sales going on right now. In fact, you can get up to 40% off if you use my affiliate code, shop.extra.com slash effective and use the code effective at checkout. That's shop.extra.com slash effective and use the code effective at checkout. And with that, let's head on over to Obsidian and take a look at the Canvas plugin. All right, so remember, this is only available at this moment in time for insiders. If you have not paid the Obsidian developers as a way to support them, um, you can get on the insiders track if you go over to obsidian.md and buy a Catalyst license. They're fairly inexpensive. It's a one-time purchase. And so if you want to get on the insiders beta track, go ahead and head on over to do that. Otherwise, this will end up filtering out to all Obsidian users at some point in time down the road. Now, remember the Canvas plugin is really brand new. There may be bugs with it, but the core functionality is really there already. To enable it, or just make sure that it's enabled, one, you have to make sure that you're updated to at least version 1.1.0. Currently, we're on 1.1.2 because there have been a couple bug fixes with the Canvas plugin. And then head on into Core Plugins to make sure that the Canvas plugin is turned on. It should be turned on by default, but in case it's not, you just want to make sure that it's there. Now, to start a new Canvas, I'm going to hit Command P. I'm going to type in Canvas. Now, I'm going to create a new Canvas. You can title this just like you would any other note. I'm just gonna title it Effective Canvas Exploration. This ends up in my inbox because I have all of my new notes automatically created in the inbox. This is basically just a new note inside of your vault. You can see there are a couple buttons down here at the bottom. You can drag to add a note from the vault. You can add media from your vault. And then you can drag to add a card, which I think is really fancy. You can enable grid snapping over here so you can see the very light dotted grid on here uh, on the video potentially. Um, it will snap to that or you can have it more freeform. You can zoom in and out. You can zoom to fit everything on there if you want to get a big picture view if you've got a lot of stuff going on. And that is really it. You can paste items in here as well, but now we're just gonna really explore to see what we can do with this. Now, I'm a huge fan of Miro. If you watched any of the live streams on the channel, half the time I'm in Obsidian or Readwise Reader. The other half of the time I'm in Miro, usually trying to flesh out some sort of concept. I just like the flexibility of these infinite canvas applications to be able to throw ideas out, move them around, connect them in different ways, and then just figure out how they all fit together. So I'm gonna drag to add a card here, or just click rather. I'm gonna say, uh, hello world. You can change the color of it, which is nice. Um, you can zoom to the selection, you can edit it. You can remove pretty basic stuff here. I'm gonna create another one, which interestingly cr creates right over the top of it. Um, I'm just gonna do some testing here. I'm gonna move this over here. You can see that as you drag, there's some alignment features, which is really nice. It's some table stakes really in a piece of software like this. Let's say I want to copy this and paste it. I can create another one. I can also align it this way. Uh, sometimes they also have 
the ability to line up distance wise in between so you can equidistant place them. You can't do that at this moment in time inside of Obsidian's Canvas plugin, but it does let you line them up pretty nicely. Now what I would find a lot of use for this is being able to just throw ideas out. Maybe that I don't have notes in necessarily, but I can put them in here and potentially build them into notes at some point if I wanna go deeper in a specific area. You could also potentially build a visual manual type Kanban board in here. Um, for example, just using these, I can just turn this into what do to do. And then we'll copy and paste that. Change this to doing. Add this up here as a column. And then we'll copy this one again. And we'll do not that. Accidentally resize that. But so now I can line these up in here. What's cool about this is if you don't want to use something like the Kanban plugin, you could link this text in here to this note and click into that note and have more information about that card. Now the, can the Kanban plugin is a bit more powerful in how it approaches that because you can pull in metadata from the note right into the card. So let's take a look and see what linking a note directly into the canvas looks like. So I'm gonna drag to add a note here. It's a much larger canvas. I am going to choose this people like even cadences node. Okay, so this literally is a note embed in here, uh, which is really interesting because now I can start to map out some different ideas. So I'm going to click down here to add another note. I'm gonna just choose burnout. This idea here about deep work not being the holistic solution to our burnout. Now, one thing cool that you can do is you can link ideas here. This does not necessarily link them in the note. So for example, if I open up this note and look at the backlinks, there we go. I don't have links in here when I link them on that canvas. So there is there is a little bit of a limitation in that regard. Don't, this is not how these notes link. They link using the wiki link context, but you can double click on these and say, interesting thought and uh, denote on that arrow what you think is related there. You can also add media. All right, I'm just gonna plop this here. And this is literally a PDF embed. So there's a lot of interesting stuff that you can do with this. I mean, I think one of the biggest things, like I mentioned, is that potentially building out a Kanban board like this, if you are a more visual, hands-on type person, I think that's interesting. I also think this could be really great for structuring out maps of content. So instead of using a written note as a way to build out a map of content, I think you could potentially build a map of content in here. Start linking in different ideas, either in these cards or pulling in notes directly, and then being able to connect those ideas together or to figure out how those ideas are connected for yourself. I think Obsidian Canvas has a lot of potential inside of the vault. One, it's completely offline. It's integrated directly into your vault. You don't have to utilize an online service like Miro or Mural and have it all only in the cloud and only accessible when you are online. This is all local. It's just built with metadata inside of your vault. It uses some kind of a JSON file to store all the data about what's on the canvas. And I think that's a really cool idea. I do hope that they flesh out some of the usability of it a bit more. If they add some more features, making adding cards or sticky notes or things like that a little bit easier, because that's really the main way that I use some of these uh, infinite canvas tools. I also think it would be great if they had a way to add framings in there so you could group items together a little bit more easily like you could in Miro or Mural or something of that sort. However, as it stands right now, this is a really great basic start to something that I think could be really useful for a lot of PKM enthusiasts inside of Obsidian, especially those who are a little bit more visually inclined for their workflows like myself. But have you tried out Obsidian Canvas yet? I would love to hear from you in the comments below. What would you love to see as your number one feature 
in Obsidian Canvas or is this perfect for you as it is? Well, with that, if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button. It helps other people find this content too. I'm Justin with Effective. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch this. I'll catch you in the next video, but until then, stay effective.